So here's the plan of attack here. First we gotta remove the brake lines. There's one here and one back here. Uh, we're gonna remove those first and then in the back there is in the back there is a bolt on each side. Let's see if I can get yeah right there, right there and right there and then this master cylinder will come out. Always use a flare nut wrench to loosen these lines. Next we have the line on the side. Now let's get those two bolts. Also there's an electrical connector that goes to, there's a connector right here you got to disconnect for the brake level sensor. Okay so we're over on the bench, uh, the new master cylinder does not come with the reservoir so I'm going to empty this old one out and take this one off. There's a little Phillips head screw right here that I'm going to take off and then this thing should just come off. There it is. That was a pain. Okay, here's our old master cylinder without a reservoir. Took the reservoir off. Make sure you have the seals that go on these little pegs here. So let's get the new one. So here's the new master cylinder. It came with new seals. And uh, I'm going to clean out this old reservoir with some brake clean. So now we're going to put the reservoir back on. Use some brake fluid to lube it up. It only goes on one way because this middle part will only allow you to do it, to put it on one way. So there we go. We're gonna put the screw in. Screw this back on. So any good master cylinder is gonna come with a bench bleed kit. The master cylinder has to be bench bled before you put it on the vehicle because you cannot get all the air out when it's on the vehicle most of the time. So the way this works is first we're going to fill the reservoir up with brake fluid. Ideally you would, you would want to do this with a vise, but I don't have one. So set it up against the wall like that. Let me get you a better shot. So the kit, the bleak kit comes with these little fittings, these little green fittings with the little port at the end of them and what you gotta do is first is just screw these into where the lines go in so one goes right here and you don't need to really like super tighten these down because they're plastic the other one goes up here now it also comes with these little tubes these tubes connect onto these fittings okay so we got the tubes hooked up to the fittings it's important that you keep these submerged underneath don't let the master cylinder run dry when you do this because then you'll have to start all over again. So basically what you do is you take, take a screwdriver and just push in maybe about, about like halfway. And then let go. And then wait for all the air bubbles to come out.
Okay, I don't see any more air. So this this bench bleeding is done. We're gonna install it on the vehicle now. Put the two mounting bolts on, or mounting nuts. Don't tighten it yet until you get the line started because you want to have some of that wiggle room. Then plug in our brake level sensor at the top. The next step is to bleed the mashes cylinder out. You can look at this procedure in my last video, replacing a brake line to put an annotation up right here. So click that and you can watch that process. I'm going to skip it for this video. I'm just going to add something in here real quick. It's very possible when you do this job that you also need to bleed the brakes on all four wheels. Um, if you need to do that, click on this annotation for a video that shows how to do that. That's it, thanks for watching.